Now, I know I've been mentioning recently that things are heating up for Halloween Horror Nights 2024 in both Orlando and Hollywood, but it seems as if the opposite is happening here. Things are getting quite a bit cooler when it comes to today's Haunted House announcement for Halloween Horror Nights. Today, Thursday, June 27th, we got announced our second IP for Halloween Horror Nights 2024 in both Orlando and Hollywood, Ghostbusters Frozen Empire. Of course, with this haunted house announcement, we also got a little description as to what we can expect from this house. It reads, An ancient artifact has released a chilling new entity, Garaka. Try not to freeze in fear as he freezes people before your eyes. Only the Ghostbusters can stop you from getting iced. And because this is one of the big IP announcements for Halloween Horror Nights this year, they did add a little video, so I'm going to play that and we'll talk about it afterwards. Warning. Unusual audio-visual activity in your You're on thin ice, buddy. Yeah, if you say so. Miho, get your butt in here. You left the TV on and this room is a disaster. See new evil, Ghostbusters, Frozen Empire, only at Universal Halloween Horror Nights, where horror lives. Couple cool little details, they're still using the Fear Cannot Be Contained overlay that they did with the Quiet Place video. I was thinking they were going to do that, sort of playing that clip at the beginning and then showing the horror that unfolds because of it. Last time we saw the Death Angels from A Quiet Place start to invade this metropolitan area. And here we see Garaka being unleashed and the landscape of New York City beginning to freeze before our main characters. Cool little detail, this looks to be filmed actually inside of Universal Orlando, down one of the streets in the New York area of the park. For those who have been to the park during Halloween Horror Nights, this is the area we would line up for Stay and Scream in New York. We see the two characters playing chess, which is a nod to a scene from Ghostbusters Frozen Empire. I won't spoil the movie in this video, but if you've seen Ghostbusters Frozen Empire, you know exactly what scene I'm talking about. And as New York starts to freeze, we get visuals that are very similar to those that we see inside of the movie. I like the teaser from 2019 a bit more. I felt like it was a little more tied to the original movie, but I do like this trailer and I think it does fall in line with the trailer we saw for A Quiet Place as well as the Fear Cannot Be Contained video. They carry very similar tones from video to video. So here we are, Ghostbusters Frozen Empire, the official return of Ghostbusters at Halloween Horror Nights. Of course, as I mentioned, they were featured in 2019 both in Orlando and Hollywood in fan favorite houses from that year's event. And we've been talking about the return of Ghostbusters to not only HHN, but also Universal in general over the past year. We've seen this materialize, of course, through their appearance in the Sensational show, as well as the Summer Tribute Store. So this is just the icing on the cake, getting them back at HHN this year. Very curious to me that they chose to do Frozen Empire over the original Ghostbusters film, which is celebrating its 40th anniversary this year. But maybe they're trying to promote the new release, almost like what they did with The Exorcist Believer last year, choosing to to focus on that film rather than the IP it was based on, which was also celebrating a pretty significant anniversary. However, the last Ghostbusters house also featured things from across the franchise, from the original 1984 film, some stuff from Ghostbusters 2, as well as Ghostbusters Answer the Call from 2016. And it seems like that will also continue in Ghostbusters Frozen Empire this year, as the house is said to include iconic ghosts, creatures, and characters from the beloved classic series that capture the horror and humor for which the films are known. 
Ghostbusters Frozen Empire featured many, many nods to the original Ghostbusters film, most of which can be seen in the trailers. Of course, a big part of this film is the return of three of the four original Ghostbusters, plus Janine Melnitz making her live-action debut in uniform as well as classic ghosts like the library ghosts and of course Slimer. So my guess is that we're going to see all of these characters make an appearance in this haunted house. However, it emphasizes there's going to be new stuff as well. We're going to see the Spangler family brought to life in this haunted house. And of course, the new villain Garaka, who I'm guessing is going to play a pretty key role for most of the scares of this haunted house. Garaka is very big, very tall, would probably provide most of the scare factor for this house because Ghostbusters in general isn't a really scary franchise especially Frozen Empire. So even though Universal is emphasizing this is going to have comedy as well as horror, I'm curious to see how the horror is going to be portrayed in this house. Now with this, Universal has also announced some of the set pieces we're going to be venturing into, such as the Ghostbusters secret lab outside of the firehouse. Of course, Ray's occult bookshop, I can't wait to go in there and look all around for all the little details. Although I'm a bit biased though, because Ray Stance is my favorite Ghostbuster. And finally, they say we will journey into the New York City sewer system, where we'll very likely encounter the sewer dragon from the opening of Ghostbusters Frozen Empire. So yeah, I'm expecting all the big moments you love from Ghostbusters, Slimer, the original Core 4, as well as new stuff like the Spangler family, like the secret Ghostbusters lab, like Garaka, expecting all of that to come out of this haunted house here. Personally, I'm very excited for Ghostbusters Frozen Empire. I did enjoy that movie. It wasn't my favorite Ghostbusters movie, but I just love the series and I never got to see the original Ghostbusters at HHN. So I'm excited to step into that world, see these ghosts come to life, and hopefully be a little chilly doing so. That's going to really help out in those August, September nights when the humidity is going crazy. Of course, with the new Haunted House announcement, we get some new merchandise appearing in the theme park. We have a brand new black t-shirt with what looks to be the key art on it. This is hands down my favorite t-shirt design they've come out with this year so far. We also have a black hat with Garaka and the Frozen Empire logo. This was seen in the Five and Dime in Universal Studios Florida. I'm also expecting this to be available in the All Hallows Eve store over in Islands of Adventure. And I'm also guessing that because this is a bi-coastal IP, this will also appear at Universal Studios Hollywood. But if you can't make it out to the parks, it's always available on Universal Orlando's online shop. Just keep checking that website. The merch will appear on there eventually. So yeah, Ghostbusters Frozen Empire. Honestly, I'm super pumped for this house. I know we've seen Ghostbusters at the event before, but it is a new take with Frozen Empire, bringing in some of the new additions from the most recent Ghostbusters series, as well as blending it in with stuff we know and love from the originals. But I'm gonna turn it over to you. What do you think about Ghostbusters Frozen Empire coming to Halloween Horror Nights 2024 in both Orlando and Hollywood? Do you like this haunted house announcement? Did you see Frozen Empire and what did you think about it? Let me know all your thoughts down in the comments below. If you like videos like this about Halloween Horror Nights of the past, present, and future updates about this year's event and events in the future, be sure to let me know by leaving a like and subscribing to the channel. We are almost at 3,000 subscribers, my friends. I'm so excited for that. I want to thank you all for your continued support of the videos, and I want to thank you for watching this video right here. Of course, we'll see you all in the next one, but until then, stay spooky and take care, everybody.